Hi everyone, this is my final Zoom for the school year. And I decided not to do our traditional circle time today for our Zoom, but to do it outside and to read you a story and just take a, a few minutes to um, tell you that I will miss you over the summer, but I will be very much looking forward to seeing you again in person in the fall. Um, I'm actually at my mom's house right now. Um, and I'm outside and part of the reason I decided to do this is because this is where I spend most of my summer. I love coming here and um, we like swimming in the pool and we take care of all kinds of things here in the summer and, and it, we spend a lot of time at grandma's house. Um, the pool is not quite ready yet because we're putting in a new liner but we cannot wait and that's what I plan to do with my family over the summer. Um, I hope that you have many fun things planned. You can be very creative at home, playing in the water, blowing bubbles, um, you know, playing with sidewalk chalk, um, catching fireflies at night. There's lots of fun things that you can do at home. And I hope you truly enjoy some family time and some outside time this summer and then gear up and get ready to come back to school in the fall. I will certainly be looking forward to seeing you. Um, I have a book today and it's called Dinosaur Start School. The reason I chose this book is because you have been out of school for a long time. You have been out of school since March. And sometimes going back to school is a little scary. You forget what it was like. And I want you to know when you come back to school, we will be so excited to see you. If you're going to a different school because some of my friends are transitioning to kindergarten, don't be afraid. You have wonderful teachers that will be there and that will be able to help you and make you feel comfortable and, and you'll get to meet new friends and, and see some old friends and it will be a wonderful experience. But it's, it's not um, abnormal to feel a little bit anxious and I thought this book might help. And I will be checking in with each and every one of you this um, fall. All of the students who are on my caseload last year, even if you're not on my caseload, I will be there and, and see how you're doing and making sure that you have a smooth transition to whatever classroom you're going to next. I hope you enjoy. This is called Dinosaur Start School by Deborah Allwright, or illustrated by Deborah Allwright, written by Pamela Duncan Edwards. All right, let me flip here. So hopefully you can see. What would you do if on the very first day of school, dinosaur wasn't smiling his big toothy dinosaur smile? <gasps> You'd say, don't worry dinosaur, school will be fun. What if he stamped his feet and he roared in his loudest dinosaur voice, roar! But dinosaurs don't have to go to school. Yeah, you'd say, of course they do, dinosaur. Otherwise, how would dinosaurs grow up to be so smart? You have to go to school so that you can get really, really smart and learn lots of things. Learn your letters and your numbers and your colors and your shapes and how to read and write. What if you got to, to the school gates, but Dinosaur wrapped his sharp claws around the fence and said in his timid dinosaur voice, but it's too big, I'll get lost. You might be going to a new school and some of you might feel that way that you don't know your way around the new school. You'd say, don't be silly, you can't get lost because our classroom is just the right size for dinosaurs. But you won't get lost either because you will have wonderful, wonderful teachers that are going to show you all around and show you where to go and, and tell you everything that you need to know to keep you safe. What if you reached the classroom door but Dinosaur covered his tiny ears and said in his quiet dinosaur voice, but it's too noisy, I'll get a headache. You'd say, it's only noisy because everyone is laughing and having a good time. It's fun here because they're all playing and having a great time. What if the teacher asked all the children to say their names? What if dinosaurs turned away and the di what if dinosaur turned away and tried to hide under the table? Oh no. 
You'd say, I think you should tell the teacher your name, dinosaur. She might think you're not here and give someone else your crayons by mistake. Mary says, you need to talk to your teacher. Tell her who you are. You might miss out on something fun if you don't. What if you were painting pictures on the, of the sun, but dinosaur made a big mess? What if his bright dinosaur eyes filled with tears and he began to cry? You'd say, wow, dinosaur, you've made sunbeams out of, uh, come out of your sun. I wish I had thought of that. He's being very kind. He knows that dinosaur is sad and upset. So he is being very kind. And he is, he is telling dinosaur that his picture looks wonderful. It's always good to be kind. What if it was time for lunch, but dinosaur said in his worried dinosaur voice, they might give, me, give us something yucky to eat. You'd say, well, tell them that some dinosaurs are herbivores and don't like meat. Then you can have salad instead of hot dogs. And sometimes when you're in kindergarten, you get to pack your lunch and bring your own lunch from home. What if everyone ran out to play, but dinosaur hid behind you and looked shy? What if you and dinosaur noticed something, someone else looking shy too? I bet dinosaur would whisper in his gentlest dinosaur voice, shall we play on the swings together? Because you might have different friends at school this year. And you might have other friends that are nervous about school. You could become friends with them and play together and make each other feel better. Then you and Dinosaur and your new friend would have a great time pushing each other on the swings. You'd take turns on the swings. You'd build a castle in the sandbox. There's so many things you can do at school with your new friends. School is a fun place to be. You'd play chase until you were giggling so hard you couldn't run anymore. What if at the end of the day you said, I told you school was fun. Dinosaur, shall we come back again tomorrow? I bet he'd nod his handsome dinosaur head. And then I bet he'd smile his big toothy smile, dinosaur smile. And I bet that you'd smile right back. And he'd be like, yes, I definitely want to come back tomorrow. The end. Well, I cannot wait for you to return to school in the fall. It's going to be wonderful, hopefully. Um, we'll all be there in person because it's been a really long time and um, hopefully at that time we can even give each other a hug. You never know. I don't know. But all I can say is that I've missed you very much. I hope that you enjoy your summer and enjoy your families and I'll be excited to see you in the fall. Goodbye.